Hey guys, it's Haley at Seamark, and I am coming at you from my home with another monthly fabric video. Today, I'm going to go over fabric options for the Seamark Beckett overalls in the Samson top, and I'm going to talk about the fabrics that we used in the photo shoot. This month we were actually able to resume photo shoots. Of course, we scaled things way, way back and took lots of safety precautions like masking, sanitizing, disinfecting, you name it. And of course, as you'll notice in the photos, we did everything outside, practicing a very safe distance from one another. But let's talk about fabric. So first up, we have the Samson top. Samson is a really simple and chic design, but I think that the thing that's really special about this pattern is the variety of fabrics you can use. This pattern is designed so that you can use knit or woven fabrics. I'm going to show you the two fabrics we used in this month's issue of Seamark. So the first one we have is a cotton linen blend. Um, it's a medium weight fabric. If you're going with a woven fabric, you can go for anything from lightweight to more medium weight, depending on the silhouette that you want to achieve. If you go with a more medium weight fabric, you're going to get a little bit more structure. It'll emphasize the shape of the sleeves, which is lovely and dramatic. Or if you want a softer, flowier silhouette, choose something that's a little bit lighter weight. Things that are going to work well are going to be things like chambray, shirtings, linens. Those would give you a little bit more crisp look with a little more structure. If you want something softer and drapier, go for silk or rayon crepes. Those would be lovely. You could also choose a modal or something nice and transparent would be beautiful as well, like a voile. Then for our second Samson sample, we have this really beautiful ponty knit in this really yummy burgundy color. I love it, so pretty. If you choose to go the route of a knit fabric for Samson, I recommend sticking to a little bit more medium weight knits. For the sample, I chose to use a ponty knit. Uh, a ponty is really great because it has a little bit more structure and it holds up to the details a lot better. Samson has a neckline facing and something that's really lightweight may not hold up to that detail quite as well. Fabrics that would work really well include double knits, ponties like I have here, French terry would also be an excellent option. You can also search for um, more structured knits. Um, textured knits would also be really lovely. Just make sure that it has um, a little bit more body to it and isn't a really, really lightweight knit like a rayon jersey or something like that. For the Samson pattern hack, Chelsea used this really cool synthetic blend fabric. I would liken it most to kind of an organza. It has that perfect balance of sheer and then a little bit of structure so that the gathered sleeves just have that little bit of oomph. It's really lovely. Um, if you're looking to achieve a similar look, uh, silk organza would be lovely. Cotton organza is also really beautiful if you can get your hands on it as well. Next, let's talk about the Beckett overalls. The Beckett overalls have a really cool relaxed silhouette. The seam hits at the natural waist. It has a lined bib and plackets at the side seam so you can get out um, and in nice and easily. You also have some patch pockets on the back and the really cool tie strap detail and grommets on the bib to fasten all of that. I think this pattern is really cool. It's really fun to sew. I've sewn a couple pairs now. Um, and if you're interested in sewing a pair along with me, make sure you check out the class that we have launching this month. Uh, you can sew overalls. It's really, really fun. If you're a Seamwork member, you can take that class. So hop on over to Seamwork.com to check that out. For fabric for Beckett, you're also going to have um, quite a few options. You're going to look for woven fabrics in the medium to heavyweight range. And 
the weight you choose is again going to be really dependent on the silhouette that you want to achieve. If you want something that's a little bit more relaxed and easygoing, you'll want to go for something more medium weight. Linen, linen blends are going to be really great for this. You could even use a lighter weight denim if you want that cool relaxed look. If you like your overalls to have a little bit more structure, go for something a little bit heavier weight. Uh, twill, canvas, heavier weight denims, those would all be fantastic options for Beckett. One thing you'll want to keep in mind is the tie strap detail. If you choose something that's too heavyweight, it might be a little bit too rigid for that detail, so just keep that in mind when you're shopping around for fabric. For the photo sample, we use this really lovely linen rayon blend. It is the Brussels washer linen from Robert Kaufman, and it's actually the same fabric we used in the class, just in a different colorway. And I love this fabric because the linen offers really great structure, but the rayon gives it a little bit more drape, so it has that perfect relaxed feel that is ideal for the Beckett overalls. This month's member bonus swaps out the pant legs on Beckett for a skirt creating a pinafore. This is a really great option if you're just like not an overall person. Um, and you're going to want to look for really similar fabrics for the Beckett bonus as you would for the Beckett overalls. Denims, twills, canvas, linens, those are all going to be really great options for this pattern. For the photo sample, we chose a cotton twill. Twills have a really nice balance of qualities. The twill weave offer a, it offers a little bit of flexibility and movement to the fabric, um, but it is a little bit heavier weight fabric generally, so you have a nice structure, and I think it works really well for the bonus. It helps keep the shape of the skirt and just looks really stellar. So there you have it, the nitty gritty on all of the fabrics that we used in this month's issue of Seamwork. As always, I cannot wait to see what you make with these patterns. I will see you next month. Happy sewing!